Here is our main story on the Rated R Safety Show. Okay, main story time as we are hanging out and doing our thing. So let's talk about this. If you have ever worked in a large, large organization, if you worked in anything that probably medium, we don't even have to talk small. I mean, small could probably work too, but normally medium to large. And it's been a manufacturing place. You normally have machinery. It's kind of the way that it works. You know, you have the machines, you build some stuff, you're inside of your organization, and it kind of works that way. And some of these machines are just the greatest things on the planet because, you know, that's what we look for. We look for some great stuff to make sure that everything works. Everything's being manufactured. Everything's being done the way that it needs to be done. So... I want you to think about this. I want you to think about maybe if you're in a manufacturing standpoint, that machine that you have done everything to, to make sure that it continues to work. And I'm not talking that you have made this machine the monster of Frankenstein, but I'm not saying that you didn't make this machine the monster of Frankenstein either. Yeah, I don't want you to get confused that Frankenstein is the monster because Frankenstein is not the monster. Frankenstein is the monster that was created. So let's just make sure, or not the monster that was created. Frankenstein was a doctor and the monster that was created was Frankenstein's monster. But let's not get into that because we're, we're going to lose you. But I want you to think about this, where you've done everything to make sure that it continues to work. That's the important part. So at what point do you go, okay, we have done so many different things to make this work that it's time to call it. It's time to say, No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Because there is some point where you have to do that. And what is that? It is the end of life cycle for the machine. The end of life cycle for the machine. Now, there are some people that are in the manufacturing world that will understand that this could be a thing that goes on for years and sometimes even decades before a machine is pulled all the way out. And I'm not saying that's good, and I'm not saying that it's bad, but I'm saying, man, it's something to think about. So when you start thinking about this and you start going end-of-life cycle for a machine, how does that work? What goes into place before the end of life cycle occurs. Now, I was having a conversation a few weeks ago with someone that said that they had contacted a manufacturer. The manufacturer was such in shock that the machine, they still had it working, that they sent somebody from the organization, from the company that made the machine to come and see the machine because they couldn't believe it was still running because they didn't even make parts for it anymore. Machine had been around for 30 some odd years. But that's not the important part. That's the part that I want to talk about. Now, at what particular point do you look at stuff inside of your organization and go, end of life cycle when it comes to, boom, this program that we have, boom, this thought process that we have. Is it 20, 30, 40 years before these things are able to change? Or do you look at it and go, Is there something in place? Is there something that's out there that we can change to move forward to? What does end of life cycle look like for you and your organization? What does end of life cycle look like in regards of what needs to happen within your organization? Because sometimes we have a lot of difficulty of letting go of things and not understanding that end of life cycle is something that happens and something that needs to take place. And that's where some of these big changes take place inside of an organization. That be it with machines, that be it with programs, that be it with things that we like or dislike. Sometimes end of life cycle is a good thing. Not always a bad. It could be a good thing just depending on how you want to take a look at it. Now that's going to be something to think about today. What did he just say? We at Safety FM don't always agree with the viewpoints of our hosts and guests. Now back to real safety talk on Safety FM.